Hello and welcome to this demo video where we will show you how Nutanix can help you manage the cost of your on-premises environment. You can see I'm logged into my Prism console and if I go under the menu over here, I have an option called cost management under the operations capabilities. And these cost management capabilities are powered by our Zybeam service, which is a SaaS service at Nutanix. The two prerequisites uh, to before you use this is uh, you should have Prism Pulse enabled for all of your clusters that you want to um, um, manage the cost for, as well as you need to have a SaaS account created for the Zybeam service. Um, and once you have both of these set up, you can click on Manage Costs, and this will take you to the Zybeam login screen. I'm already logged into my Beam account, and here you see that um, I have my dashboard showing me my Nutanix costs, showing me the cost of various clusters, various products. But how do we get started? How do we configure our Nutanix costs? All that you have to do is enter your license key associated with any Nutanix purchase. Um, if this license key is associated with your Nutanix account, which we can identify based on your company name and your email address, we will be able to pull in your entire purchase history and associate a certain costs with your various Nutanix products. Uh, these could be your hardware as well as software uh, Nutanix purchases. And these costs are based on a certain assumed price that we uh, assume, you know, uh, of the price per license. Uh, but you can easily configure these if, if the cost that we have assumed is not uh, exactly the same as the cost that you actually paid, uh, you can easily configure these to match the cost uh, that you actually paid for your uh, Nutanix products. And then these uh, hardware and software licenses are associated with various clusters in your on-prem environment. And you can see that we calculate a certain TCO, a total cost of ownership for these clusters. This TCO model is completely built in, uh, this, uh, and it gives you an out-of-the-box visibility into the true cost of owning and operating your on-prem environment. Now that, that will include your hardware costs for your server licenses, this could be the NX servers or any other third-party OEM servers that we support. It will include software licenses such as our HCI software. Uh, maybe our, you know, you've purchased additional licenses for Prism uh, and, and maybe you're using some vSphere or you might want to add any other custom third-party software license cost that you want to associate with the TCO for your cluster. Now things start to get interesting. Um, here we have automatically calculated the power and cooling costs. And we do this because we know the number of nodes in your cluster. We know the power consumed by each node. And we multiply that by a certain assumed cost of the kilowatt hour of, for your power and a certain efficiency ratio. This is based on a US standard, but this is easily configurable to match your exact needs. And now this gives us the cost of your power and cooling for this uh, particular cluster. Similarly, we calculate the cost of your data center space. That's basically the cost of your uh, rack units that you need uh, based on the certain number of nodes. How many rack units are you going to need and uh, what is the cost per rack unit? Then we also automatically calculate the cost of uh, Ethernet switches. Again, based just on the number of nodes, how many Ethernet switches are you going to need and what is the cost per Ethernet switch? The services cost is a custom uh, entry based on any professional services that you might hire uh, to maintain your data center. And lastly, the people cost is the salary cost. What is the amount of salary that you're paying to your IT admins? Uh, and again, this only depends upon the number of nodes um, and you can enter the, the uh, number of nodes managed by per IT admin and the salary of those IT admins. So this TCO model is built in and our objective is to give you out of the box visibility into what is the true cost of owning and operating your data center environment. We can uh, segment this cost by individual clusters. Uh, if you've set up the, the TCO model separately for each cluster. And then um, we can also drill down into the VM level cost. So let's say if I drill into, drill into this cluster, and if you've uh, enabled Prism Pulse, which we require you to, then we will know the details of all the VMs that are running in a uh, particular cluster uh, and the resources allocated to that VM. For example, this VM has 16 v vCPUs, 
64 gigs of memory and a certain amount of storage. We calculate the ratio of these resources to the total amount of resources on that cluster and we allocate the total cost, the TCO of that cluster uh, to the VMs in the ratio of the resources of the VM to the total resources on the cluster. This now gives us the cost of this Nutanix VM. This is showing me the TCO of this VM, the true cost of running this VM in my Nutanix on-prem environment. This uh, can greatly help me understand how much uh, are my workloads costing, the workloads that uh, are running on certain VMs. In addition to various VMs, we also provide costs for VM snapshots. And very soon, we will also show costs for uh, storage services like file storage, object storage, and so on. So that this will become your one-stop shop for knowing how much you are spending in your on-prem Nutanix environment. And that's based on a TCO model. So it's, it's the true cost of your on-prem environment, all calculated out of the box. We allow you to fine tune these costs, but our objective is to show you out of the box what is the total cost of your on-prem environment. Thank you for watching.